What's going on everyone? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from the best Android site on the web, AndroidAuthority.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to flash a stock firmware on your Samsung Galaxy S3. Now when you flash a stock firmware, it also unroots your device. So if you need to return your Galaxy S3 for warranty purposes, this is a perfectly fine method of doing so. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do is go to the XDA developers page that I have linked in the description. And we'll find the most recent software update, which is the i9300 XXBLFB. Now mind you, this is for the Galaxy S3 i9300 version, and uh, it won't work for any of the others. Don't try and flash the stock firmware on any of the other variants of the Galaxy S3. Anyways, we're going to need the i9300 XXBLFB download, or the newest one whenever, this, uh, whenever you're trying this method. Anyways, we're going to click download on that, and it'll download to our computer, and we're also going to need to download Odin version 3.0.4. That's just a zip file. So anyways, on my computer, I've moved the uh, stock firmware to the new folder. It comes in this zip file. We'll just extract it. We have the SSDL file, and then we have the firmware file, which is a .tar. Also, we have our Odin, which I downloaded. And when we open Odin, we'll need to open it from the folder it downloaded in. And if you move the program out to the uh, desktop, it will not work. So keep that in mind. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do is power down our Galaxy S3. And we're going to need to put it into download mode. So we're just going to power off. And once the device is off, we're going to be holding the home button, the volume down button, and the power. And just hold those until it boots up. You'll get this screen. It says volume up to continue, volume down to cancel and restart the phone. We're going to continue by clicking up. See, we're in download mode now. Now we're just going to want to plug our Galaxy S3 into our computer and open the Odin program. Once the Odin program is open, you'll see the uh, zero COM7, or it could be COM uh, with a different number, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, what we're gonna wanna do is click the PDA button, and then we're going to want to uh, surf in our downloads or desktop, wherever we moved it, to our stock firmware file. So I moved it to a new folder, and here's our uh, firmware file. file. It's a .tar.md5. That just goes in the PDA, make sure repartition is not checked and click start. You'll see when it's finished, we have our pass symbol there. We can just minimize mm -hmm. Odin, and our Galaxy S3 is uh, beginning its reboot. We can unplug it from the computer at this point. And we'll just wait for the uh, setup screen to start. Okay guys, and if you're stuck in a boot loop where all you see on the screen is just the Samsung logo, which may happen when you uh, flash a stock firmware, you're just gonna wanna remove the battery, and then you'll put it back in, Hold the volume up, the power, and the home button, and then you'll just start it up. This will boot you into the stock recovery because you will be unrooted. And once you see the little Andy there with his orb flashing, you're going to want to go to the um, wipe data factory reset and confirm that with a yes. Then after that, you're going to want to wipe the cache partition. And then you can reboot system now, and you'll reboot with a fully functional Galaxy S3 completely unrooted and running the stock firmware. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the tutorial, subscribe, check out our website. You'll be updated with everything Android for as long as you're there.